I've been building so many freaking villages and I have not had time to do anything besides that. But if you read the title, you see what we're going to do today. And I'm very excited for this. You know, we have a few rare villagers scattered around our different villages we built, but I do want some more. And today we are going on the hunt for some rare villagers. And there's only one thing that we need before we get on our adventure today. And that is a grappler because I died with mine and it's in the snow box. So yeah, I need a new one and I don't have blast powder. So I need to go find some of that. And to be honest with you, this is probably one of the only things in the game that I actually don't know where to find. So this will be a little bit of an adventure because I am a noob actually, and I have no idea where this blast powder could be. Maybe, nope, okay, I already looted that. I feel like sometimes these rainbows might have them. Hopefully they do because I don't know where else to get it. So did they drop some? They did not. Either way, I think that the skeletons by the beach drop them. So we are gonna test our luck there because I think that's where they are. I honestly don't know though. Oh, and it's just gotta be these. It just has to be, right? The skeleton on the beach. Yes. Okay, we definitely need more. Oh, so not every single one drops. They must be random. Interesting, I only got one. No, no, no. You're kidding. I have to wait a whole nother day to get more. <laughs> if there's one spot that I'm gonna find it during the day, it's gonna be the supply drop. Wait, even better, we found cheese. And that's actually a huge W because something I haven't talked about yet is that I'm gonna collect all of the cheese in my world and then make a single building to store all of the cheese inside of. So we will never be eating this stuff because that would be very wasteful. Oh, we just hit the jackpot. We're ready to go on our adventure now. 10 cord, and I believe it's three copper bars, and then we can go ahead and make a grappler. And we are ready to go on an adventure to find the rarest villagers in the entire game. I'm super excited to do this because the villagers that I've been using are kind of mid. Also, our new snow village definitely needs some villager friends, so we need to get some for that. And lastly, we're gonna go over to our ocean village and test some theories because I have been getting comments about my ocean village a lot trying to help me out because if if you don't know, I do have a villager problem at our ocean village where they won't stay and it's very lonely out on the life raft and I need some friends. So we're going to test all of that and more in today's episode. But if you guys are new, then first off, welcome. This is our daily survival series. We're playing Lego Fortnite every single day and uploading it here on YouTube. Also, if you want to say that you've been here since before 900k, then subscribe. Now guys, this is Cast from the future, but something crazy happened right at the beginning of my search. I was just entering the Frostlands, and at this point, it's been less than 10 days into our journey. I'm just searching around, and this happened. I was gonna say, there just had to be one here. Oh my goodness, it's Frozen Fish Stick. Dude, isn't this the rarest villager in the game? Is there anybody else here? No way, bro. Look at him. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure we actually snag him. So let's hit come explore. Wow. And he spawns in with a pickaxe. I don't think I've seen many villagers that spawn in with a pickaxe. So what's the other one we need? We need frozen Peely. Oh no. I was trying to take a picture and he's getting whacked. And don't get me wrong, I am hyped on that, but I do think we can do more. So if you guys are not aware yet, I believe that the rarest villagers in the game kind of hide around this area, which is the snow biome. Whoa, and I've never seen a tree this small. Anyway, a lot of times you'll find them in some broken down structures in the snow biome. And specifically, they'll look like the one in front of us here. Okay, this one's filled with bandits. And since I already found the rarest villager in the game, I have two goals for this journey. We must find two more rare villagers and we also have to fill half of our inventory with frost pine that second one's not going to be an easy task before we get too far this might be 200 iq because he should be able to help me get the frost pine quicker we are going to make frozen fish stick an epic axe to see if he'll actually use it okay so we have it in our hand we're going to go ahead and hit take this gift forest axe oh now my game's wait oh he has it. Ah, oh, this game's funny. But it's the moment of truth. Let's see if our frozen fish stick will help us mine the tree. And he is. Maybe that's a common knowledge thing everybody knows, but this actually doubles how fast you can get frost pine. And to be super specific, you actually have to hit these big trees 10 times in order to break it. And it gives you seven frost pine, but now we can do it in half the time. Anyway, we got our best friend here and we're gonna continue to get some frost pine, but also let's not get distracted from the main mission today, which is going and trying to find more villagers, specifically the rare ones. The nice thing about doing this is it's not a build project, which means I actually get to explore more of the world because to be honest, I haven't even explored all of my map yet. And I feel like I should by this point, just so I can find the best spots around. Cause I'm sure there's some crazy parts like this, dude, 
I didn't even know this part of the map existed and it looks so sick. Also, I see a campfire over there and I see one here. So we're gonna go ahead and check these because I believe that sometimes they stay where there's campfires. I mean, it totally makes sense and it looks like uh more enemies okay i'm not sure exactly how to tell the difference but i think all of these specific structures might actually just be enemies but this castle i think is the same exact castle that i found my yeti at so we got to check this as well yeah no nobody's home and we're just traveling into the night i have no idea where we're going besides that it's at that light directly who knows that might even be the grasslands bob oh wait i'm actually going off track because there's one here and you never know what it might hold oh and i think that this is a full enemy village and we honestly haven't found another villager in a while so me saying i wanted to find two is starting to feel a little scarier but i do see some things walking around here and why did i ever think that they would be friendly Also, I probably should have mentioned this earlier into the video, but if you're wondering why I'm not taking any damage, it's because I have two inner fire charms on. I highly recommend this to anybody trying to visit the snow biome because it'll definitely save your life. What's the point of picking these up? Wait, did that just hit him for one? Replay that, please. Yeah, it did hit him for one. Whoa, wait, what are these? Are these corn crops? Wait, you can collect what but this thing goes forever what is this and also not to take away from the fact that we are so far away from any civilization and i still have not found a single other villager which is not great but we're gonna keep looking because my goal is still to find two more wow we are finding some crazy stuff that we hardly ever find i think i found one of these before but let's see what's in the chest and it's cheese our cheese counter is up guys we're getting rich with that cheddar sorry that was a horrible joke oh my we're just finding everything we haven't found in a long time including a llama i honestly kind of forgot that llamas even existed in this game but let's go ahead and give him a nice little pet and see what he drops for us so we got snowberry shakes wool wow um everything in here sucks and we're still on the hunt for villagers it's been about 50 days and all we have to show for it is frozen fish stick and i found him pretty early on so i'm glad we did that in hindsight and to give you guys some context since we're standing on top of a mountain right now as you can see we're looking off into a part of the map that has not been explored i mean we've been doing this for a while but i just want to show you guys that we are hitting every single little landmark that we can find because i really want to find another villager Oh, look at that. I don't think this guy is very rare. I've seen beef boss a lot in this game, and I honestly don't think I'm going to take him. But it is nice to see another villager friend considering it's been a while. And it gives us hope because now maybe we can find another rare one. dude it just had to be bright bomber it's been so long since i found one you know it's good to see you bright bomber but yeah you're not what we're looking for and in case you were wondering we have been getting our frost pine but i definitely need a lot more so we gotta farm some trees if you would remember aside from finding rare villagers our challenge is to get a ton of frost pine so let's get some and you don't understand how sick I am of pulling up to villages that have these enemies in them and would you guys look at what i have just found wait Oh, no, I broke it. Well, I guess that answers our question of whether there's anything under the bunker. There isn't. And guys, I have some very good news and some very bad news to report. The bad news is we are done on our exploration for villagers at the moment, but we did get frozen fish stick, which is I think the best villager in the game. So that's a positive. And another piece of good news is that if we open our inventory, we did get half of our inventory filled with frost pine like we wanted to. So that was definitely worth it. Okay, well, we got him and we're gonna go ahead and tell him to join my village. And he's telling me I have too many friends. This is just a never ending problem. So first off, we're here and we're gonna go ahead and destroy blue squire's bed. I'm sorry, you are out of here where even is he wait where are my villagers here yeah i've got no idea they're not even here and we're gonna go kick some villagers out of our other villages but i want to show you the best way to fly in this game and this was found by a fellow content creator so i'll leave him in the description shout out to two Kaint. but basically all you need is a pickaxe and your glider now if we zoom out here you can see that my village is very far away you can't even see it but it's over there i'm gonna try to make it there in one glide and you might be wondering how but let's just try this out. So what we got to do is swing your pickaxe and spam your glider at the same time. And as you can see, I'm not losing like any 
stamina at all in between the pickaxe swings. I just have to time it better because I'm not doing a very good job. But we are just flying. And I would have probably already been on the ground if I didn't do this method. But all you do is spam your pickaxe and then spam your glider. And I am just going. The only problem is if you mess up the timing, you start dropping pretty far. And then obviously when you lose the height, you're going to touch the ground. But in terms of stamina, you basically never lose it. And I have made it a very far away. I'll go ahead and turn around once I touch the ground. But I basically jumped off of the highest mountain in the game. And I would have lost my stamina a long time ago, like I said. But we've made it quite a way. We almost made it all the way to our village. You can see it right there. And man, if I just built a few staircases, I actually would have. But we landed. And now let's turn around and see how far... We flew with one glide. I was up there, if you couldn't tell. Anyway, myth confirmed. That is the best way. Like I said, shout out to Tukaint for finding this. And I'm going to be using this basically every single time I play this game now. I'll link his original video down in the description. But we're back at our original level 10 snow village for the sole purpose to kick every single villager we have out. Do I even have villagers here? Yeah, I have four and we don't need them. I know I was originally super excited over this village, but we do have to destroy some beds. Yeah, this village is a mess. We went ahead and kicked our villagers out though. And we're just going to take frozen fish stick with us on our our next journey which is going to be all the way over in the ocean because once and for all we need to figure out if we can get a villager to stay there so it's time to travel all the way to the ocean which is very far so i'll see you when we're there all right and we have made it here to our ocean village at night we got our nice ship over there we got everything looking good but now we have a project to work on and i don't have any wood that's a great start and we should be good. The reason that we're over on this island is because we got a suggestion that said that if we connect our village to an actual part of the land, that maybe the villagers will want to stay. So I'm going to try it. And with this, I'm just building the skinniest bridge of all time because this is just an experiment and I don't know if it's going to work. It's going to be a little tricky since I have these. So I'm going to have to clear a little bit of it and we will just do this. And now it's actually connected to land. So let's see if we can get a villager to stay. We have one right here. So let's go ahead and try to get our frozen fish stick to join my village. And it says I have too many friends. And that's just because I just kicked my other villagers out. So now I'm going to go ahead and plop him down a bed and just wait. Okay. And I believe it's been five days now. So once frozen fish stick gets over here, we've already plopped a bed down for him and it should be time to see if this actually works once and for all. So let's go ahead and talk to our frozen fish stick for the last time. And I need an empty bed. I'm out of options. What do I do? Should I just break this thing off completely and let it flow into the open ocean? Because I don't know what to do with this place. So now that I know there is no hope to keep them here, we have to go back again. So we got to go all the way back to the snow biome just because this project would be a complete hell if we don't even put our villager somewhere at the end of it. Oh my. I actually got better at doing this. So I built up to a pretty suitable height. I'm not going to make it all the way back to my village, but my crosshair is on where my village is. So I'm going to try to make it as far as I can. And you guys are going to see how much further I get than I would if I were to just hold out my glider the entire time. I mean, we're going down pretty quickly, but that's just because we weren't super, super high up. We get so much further. Look at this. I think there's actually a chance that we can make it home. Hold on. It's just not going to be the same way you might have thought because we are pretty far from home, but there's geysers and we have a lot of stamina left. So maybe, oh, we can totally do this. Okay, had a little bit of a hiccup there, but I think we're conserving our energy well. Oh my goodness, we're gonna do it. Oh, wait. I like kind of touched the ground at the very end, but oh, that threw me off. I was so close, but you guys get the point. Basically made it all the way back to my main village from all the way back there. And now we're back home, but this is not the home that I want to be at. I have to still travel very far over to the snow. <laughs> Yo, this is actually an insane way to move around the map, but we found this on our way home and we got to open it. Of course, we found some blast powder. And after our last experience, I feel like we can never wait. What? That's a slurp juice. I thought that was blast powder. I guess we did find blast powder and there's really nothing useful here, but we're super close to home. So let's get home. And we've arrived back at our snow village because we need to go ahead and build a bed for frozen fish stick and call it a day. So let's go ahead and give him a little protected bed under here and we'll assign him to that. Also, of course, we have Maisie. I should probably assign her to a job that 
she can actually do. Let's get her to collect nearby resources. I'm really interested in seeing what she collects. So check back in tomorrow's episode so we can find out. I still don't have the answer to whether she'll collect actual frost pine and things like that, or if she'll just get us wood and stone. Either way, good that we have her assigned to a job. And now we have him here. He's still following me for the time being, but there is one final thing that we need to do. And it's very obvious. I can't believe I didn't think of it last time, but our Christmas tree needs a topper. And what better topper is there to a Christmas tree than the village itself? Because it glows gold sometimes. And I believe if I just knock this off, I could probably just throw it here. At least that's what I'm assuming will happen once we stop lagging. Uh, there we go. And we can place it here. So let's go ahead and throw up the star at the top of our Christmas tree. There are still a few more levels that we have to upgrade, but stay tuned to the channel for tomorrow's video because I'm going to be doing a bunch of housekeeping items, including upgrading this village. But yeah, in this episode, I think that my favorite thing that I learned was this right here. I know I've added a a bunch of clips of me doing this but it's genuinely game changing and yeah i don't know what other words to describe it it's going to change the way i play the game and i'm very excited to continue I'm just going to end the video there. Please tell me I'm spawning at my snow village. This loading screen is too long. I feel like it's sending me back somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to we're going to go ahead and end the video here. I've got to go all the way back to my snow village, but in the meantime, I can actually bring some of the stuff to upgrade to level 8. But like I said, that'll be in the next video. So thank you so so much for watching this one. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.